Ooh, man, it is a hot one in the garage tonight. I think it's probably 95 degrees in here right now. It's been triple digits outside. Um, yeah, so not particularly uh, nice weather uh, in my book. But I've got a bunch of parts to get on the Norden uh, and kind of what I would say outfit it for adventure. So just some um, sparkles, you know, functional sparkles, some parts and stuff that I wanted to get for the bike. I was originally waiting for a few other pieces, but I haven't um, got around to purchasing those yet and I'm going on a ride tomorrow. So I really just want to get these on the bike. Um, and also get some of the boxes out of the garage. But yeah, we have a lot of uh, new parts and things to put on the Norden and I am super stoked to get these on there. Okay, so first item up that we're gonna be tackling tonight is uh, crash bars for the Norden. Now I wanted to get these because the plastics and the gas tank are pretty exposed in a fall or to rocks and things like that. And I wanted to make sure uh, that I kept those protected especially the radiator and things. So I went ahead and picked up these Hepco and Becker crash bars. Uh, these are their full, full height ones. Um, and the reason I went with these is they offer super great protection, but I also wanted somewhere to mount highway pegs. And I actually picked up some highway pegs as well. Actually, I didn't pick them up. My buddy picked them up. They didn't quite fit his crash bars. So he went ahead and gave them to me. They should work on this. I'm super excited to get those on especially because my knee is still healing. Um, don't tell my doctor that I'm riding the motorcycle right now because he would not be happy. But having that highway peg on there is gonna allow me to straighten my leg out because it definitely gets a little bit uncomfortable right now when it's bent. So we're gonna tackle the crash bars um, on this bike first. But before I start that, I'll go over the other items that I'm gonna add to the bike as well. All right, so the next piece, and it's really a key piece to getting the bike uh, outfitted for adventures and trips in the future, are luggage racks. So these are some Touratech pannier racks that'll go probably right about like this. Um, I went with the Touratech racks because it's what I had before on my KTM 1090, and my I know my luggage I have fits that just right. Um, and I think Duratech makes a good product. So yeah, went ahead and went with those again um, on this bike as well. Plus there wasn't a whole lot in stock. And since this bike is um, basically the same as the 790, uh, these will bolt right up to it. And then moving right along to the top of the bike, this is actually my wife's tank bag that I've been borrowing. I sold mine with the 1090 as part of the package. So I went ahead and picked myself up a nice brand new Giant Loop Diablo tank bag. Um, this thing is sweet. The one that I had on my 1090 was an older model and uh, I am stoked to get this one on there. I do, this one's a smaller one and I do like it um, that it is you know, kind of more compact and out of the way but not quite big enough for putting my camera and stuff in there. So definitely moving over to the larger and newer tank bag. Um, and then while we're up here, I also picked up um, this little windscreen add-on that's going to go right up here on the top of the, oops, I picked that up, uh, on the top of the windscreen as an additional deflector because I am quite tall and the factory windscreen on this bike isn't really that good. Um, I get quite a lot of buffeting, so I'm super interested to test this out tomorrow um, and see how it does. I don't think it can make things worse, but I guess we'll find out. So that's pretty nice, nice solid mounting point. I love using this comically long extension in an area that doesn't really need it. All right, we got side one on, not too difficult. Um, the only hard part, I guess, to getting 
everything squared away was I had to pull out the caliper so I could measure the bolts, make sure I was using the right ones because there's quite a few in the box. Uh, once we did that though and got everything all squared away, went on pretty easy. I'm going to go ahead and do the other side. I won't bore you guys with that. Instead, I'll just show you guys the finished product. But I really like how these look on the bike. I think they look super slick. And uh, they, these come in black, white, and this yellow. And I am super stoked I went with the black color. I had to wait like five weeks, uh, I think five, six weeks to, to get them. But super happy I waited for them. All right, crash bars are on. And I just love how these things look on the bike. I think it looks so sharp. But yeah, the, uh, this side was a little bit more difficult. But now, I think we're going to go ahead and move on to the Touratech racks. And uh, yeah, get those installed. I think those will go fairly quickly as well. So we're actually going to have to undo the muffler here. <laughs> Just when you think something's going to be easy. Nope. At least taking that off is not too hard. Alright, other than having to take the exhaust off and not having any instructions, getting these on actually wasn't too difficult. Um, just like the crash bar has got this side on, I'm going to go ahead and do the other side and I'll show you guys once I get that wrapped up. Alright, the Touratech racks are on the bike. Super solid. Fit really nicely. They are really tight on this side. By the plastic. It's a little bit tricky to get that plastic on and off. I've got this side on. This side's got um, a bit more room here between that and the plastics, but it does all fit. Exhaust is back in. Now we just have tank bag and a little windscreen deal, and we'll be done. Seems pretty good. I think we'll go ahead and call that good for now. We can always tighten it up tomorrow if we need to, but it seems like it's pretty good. All right, now the final piece of the puzzle is our little windscreen addition. centered. All right, that really wraps up the Farkles on it. Definitely curious to see how this does. All right, so I thought I was done with putting parts on the Norden before wrapping up this video, but it's taken me so long to get to putting this video out that I got a few more things to add to the bike. I have this Vinash, I think that's how you pronounce it, 
um, GPS mount here. Now this is nice solid aluminum. That's gonna go up here and replace the 3D printed piece. It did its job, but now it's time to put something a little bit more sturdy in there. So that'll be a great addition. And then I have this is the Perrin Moto um, rack for the back here. And that's gonna allow me a more secure spot to mount my Harbor Freight case and uh, get that on there as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and install these two things. Here's the stock rear rack. As you can see, not a ton of options for mounting anything. Um, there are these screws here, but probably not super sturdy. Um, and there's just really nowhere to tie down straps. You can kind of wrap around here, but not super great. Um, this new rack should solve that problem. All right, that's a wrap on that. Super easy install. This thing looks so nice. All these edges are nice and smooth for straps, nice and strap friendly. Yeah, super happy with this rack and obviously easy. It's only four bolts. All right, so I did get this one last piece of the puzzle on here, and that is this top box, uh, one of those Apache ones from Harbor Freight. And basically, move that out of the way. It's just mounted in here with these uh, screws and fender washers, and then underneath them are some neoprene rubber fender washers to keep water out of here. And they just simply bolt through right there on the underside. So definitely love having this super sturdy, nice hard area to store stuff. I can also lock this closed if I want to. And uh, yeah, it's a good spot for tools and other gear um, that I like to keep on the bike. So kind of whatever would go in this tail pack here, first aid kit, toilet paper, some bolts and tools, air compressor, all that stuff is typically what I put in here. And then this size is big enough for my Skydio drone as well. So yeah, that was really kind of the last piece now. So we are all good. All right, and I do yet again have a different shirt on because it is yet another day, but I'm finally have all of the pieces I wanted to get on this bike outside of tires. And yeah, it's ready to go now. I'm actually planning on going on a trip tomorrow. Fingers crossed if I can uh, make a few things work. Be going on this to go on a camping trip on this for the first time. But yeah, that kind of wraps up this video. Um, hope you guys enjoyed it. Maybe found it informative if you maybe have a Norden yourself and are looking for uh, kind of how I outfitted mine. Or maybe you're just curious. But either way, leave a comment below. Let me know what you guys think and subscribe if you haven't, but I'll catch you guys in the next video.